Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be drawing the Manchester City Football Club uh, badge. This is the second in my series of drawing football badges. I'm going to be starting off with my Sharpie pen. And I'm going to have to move the paper to start this one. Um, so just bear with me because what we've got to begin with is we've got a, a rather large circle. Um, and as you know, if you followed any of it, my videos, to draw a circle... Um, I do like to try and move the paper because doing it with one swoop is quite tricky, especially with a Sharpie pen where we can't erase out. So I'm going to start in this left hand corner here. And obviously we're doing this freehand, so this isn't going to be absolutely spot on. There's going to be the odd um, stray line here. If I was going to be doing this, if I wanted to do this absolutely perfectly and you know it was maybe a gift for somebody, um, I'd certainly use a pencil to start with uh, and maybe even measure measure it out just so that it was absolutely perfect but as you can see I'm I'm trying to move the paper around um, I know that I've got a pretty good arc when I drag the, the pen towards me in this fashion um, so I'm just really trying to keep the same arc with each stroke and we're not too we're not too far off on that there so I'm quite happy with that um, so we've got another circle that comes inside so using exactly the same process making sure that we keep this pen moving and like I've said in other videos these sharpie pens do tend to bleed a little bit uh, and that means that if you stay in one spot on the paper for for too long um, the ink starts to come out of the pen and make a bit of a splodge on the paper. If this is the first video that you've watched of mine, thank you very much for clicking. Uh, it makes a huge difference to small YouTube channels when you do uh, watch our content. Um, just because we've not got 50,000 views doesn't mean that we're not, um, you know, we're good, we're not good content. It just means that we're, we're starting out and uh, YouTube needs to know that we've got good content. So every time you click, like, share, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, that just sends a little message out to YouTube saying hey this little guy over here is doing okay people are enjoying the content um, if you're a returning viewer fantastic thank you so much okay we've got our two circles there uh, so the Manchester City badge uh, consists of um, we've got this almost a, I don't know what you call it a shield in the center so I'm gonna find some points for this uh, that I'm going to that, that are going to help me. Um, they're going to help me get the dimensions of this right. So, from the two points here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a um, it's a curved line coming down to a point at the bottom here. And then we've got the same on this side, so I'm going to try and match up the same curve as we had on the left hand side. So the first uh, video that I did um, based on the football, um, the football badges was Manchester United. So if you've not seen that one yet, go and check it out. I'll put a link up in the corner now to that one. That was my first one. Um, I'm, I'm not a supporter of Manchester United or Manchester City, so uh, I'm not 100% familiar with uh, what their flags and their badges look like. But um, both Manchester clubs have got this ship. So we've got a ship at the top here. It's a, a three-sailed ship. It looks like an old-fashioned uh, an old-fashioned ship. So uh, if any of you guys out there know what that means and what that represents, I'd love to know. Um, I'm, like I say, I'm not a supporter of either club uh, but but I am intrigued to know as to why the two Manchester clubs have got a ship I suppose I could google it but it'd be more fun if you guys could let me know down in the comments at the bottom okay so what we have is we have let's start with the sails 
and a lot of this is coloured in dark around the edge so the sails on this ship look fairly white but we'll get to that towards the end we've got some wave type effects on the bottom of this here Got to be very careful with this pen here because the, the details on this um, on this ship are very close together, and I don't want to have this pen bleed too much. So I'm having to make sure that I leave slightly more room than I normally would do just to allow for some of that ink to bleed in because I don't want it to close the gaps over that when they're, when they're on when there uh, if there is a gap somewhere so in between these two these two uh, sails there's a gap there a clear gap if I go too close then as the ink bleeds into the paper, I, I lose that gap. So I lose that sense of the white parts on the paper, which I don't want to do. So this middle sail has actually got three flags. Um, sorry, not flags, sails. Quite interesting looking at these football uh, football badges because I, for one, I don't really take any notice of them. You know, you see them on the football games and on on shirts and whatnot, but you don't really take an awful lot of of notice of what's on them, what they represent. Uh, so yeah, this has been quite an interesting one. If you'd like to find out which club I support. Um, You've got to comment it in the in the comments below, and I'll draw the uh, I'll draw the flag of my team at some point. Okay, so in the centre of this now we've got a it looks almost like a rose. Uh, so we're going to draw a circle, and coming off of here we've got five straight lines that make almost a star shape. And then a wiggly kind of S shape in between each one. And then we've got the same but slightly larger on the outside. Which makes this very kind of traditional flowery rose shape. Again, I don't know what this represents for Manchester City. I have no idea. What I have noticed uh, looking into some of these football badges though, that there are some generic things that I'm noticing on a lot of these football flags. So the flowers and things seem to be a recurring theme. Okay, so underneath here, what we've got is we've got some um, sort of striped areas that are blocked in black on this reference I do like to draw my straight lines pulling towards me so if you do notice me um, moving the page around it's because I, I feel more confident pulling the pen towards me to keep the line straight uh, rather than pushing it away from me I just find I've got much more control over the pen and the lines this way. Um, you might find that you're better pull it pushing away. Uh, there's no absolute reason why you have to do this, but I just find it much easier to um, pull the pen away from me. 
Sorry, pull the pen towards me. There we go. Okay. So I'll, I'll finish all the details and then I'll time lapse uh, the colouring in of this. So what we've got now is we've got a circle coming around this. So from this corner here, we're going to bring a circular shape in and the same on this side. And then it comes over the top. I can just straighten this out a little bit when we get towards the end. So not, not worrying too much that it's not perfect. Okay, and now what we've got is we've got Manchester across the top in letters and then City at the bottom. And then we've got 1894, so 18 on this side. So let's start with uh, the Manchester. Again, this is all in capital letters, just like the Manchester United um, badge that I did in my last video. Just basic capital letters. There's nothing fancy about these at all. Um, just making sure that we get these letters the right size. So bang in the centre here, there's an H. There we go, and then obviously the C. It's really important that you get the spelling right. It's so easy when you're focusing on one thing, one element, to miss a letter out. So making sure that we are Spelling this right, there's nothing worse than putting an extra E in or missing a letter out of the centre. It tends to ruin your drawing. If you guys have subscribed to my channel, brilliant, thank you so much. That means a lot. If you've not, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'm aiming to do daily videos. I've done various different um, tutorials. I've done Pokemon tutorials. Uh, Superhero movie, uh, Marvel characters, for example. Uh, we've got City at the bottom here. I've done uh, horror movie characters. I'm doing gaming characters, so I've done a Mario series. I'll be adding to those on a regular basis. But uh, yeah, go check them out. Turn the notifications button on so that you know when um, I release new content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time lapse the next bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna colour in with this Sharpie pen all around this ship, and then these lines coming in here are also dark, uh, and I'll, I'll just straighten up a few of the lines. So I'll see you once I've done that. So there we have it guys, I've just time-lapsed uh, the rest of that. I've just got uh, two, two uh, areas that I need to just fill in. So we've got a line that comes in either side of this. And one that comes around the top there. I guess this is a another circle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, that's my Manchester City uh, Premier League football team badge. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like my Facebook page, I'm on Instagram and, and Twitter as well. Uh, you can contact me through my website which is i, the letter i, howtodraw.com. I'd love to hear your comments and feedback. If there's something you'd like me to do in the future, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.